Hey everybody, and welcome to Raw Reviews, where we take an unedited look at some of our favorite photography accessories. As usual, I'm Nick, along with Nikolai from Cometa Camera, and what are we looking at today? Today we are looking at the Zune Crane, which is a handheld motorized gimbal. Yes, it is. So a uh, gimbal is basically like a Steadicam, except mm -hmm. it's uh, held in your hand, and it, this one in particular has three different motors to handle three different axes of rotation. So mm -hmm. this will give you really good smooth video. You'll be able to get great tracking shots and panning shots, and you don't have to practice a lot to do it because of the motorization. Yep. Um, it's really cool. It supports up to 4.9 pounds, and that's 1,800 grams for our European friends. And uh, that's a pretty good range to yeah. handle pretty much any mirrorless camera and even some compact DSLRs as long as you're not using a crazy heavy lens on there. Yeah, but we suggest kind of keeping it around the four pound mark just for safety. Yeah, and obviously don't put any big telephoto lenses on it or mm -hmm. any big sort of video lights or anything. After a certain point, the laws of physics kind of get in the way mm -hmm. and will cause problems. But if you're using a combination like this, this is a Sony A6300 along with a 16 to 70 lens. Um, this is a perfect size and weight. Mm -hmm. and you have to manually balance this beforehand. We did it before the video, so we don't have you don't have to sit there and watch us do it. Yep. Um, it does take a few minutes to get the hang of it, but once you do, you can balance pretty much any camera in like a minute or so. Yeah, but also very importantly, when you do balance it, may, if you have a zoom lens or you plan on putting a microphone or something on the camera, every little thing you do to adjust this is going to throw off the weight. Right. So make sure you set up the camera the right way, the way you want it before you uh, calibrate it. Yep, if, even if you're adding like a little mic cable or if you just want to zoom the lens out a little bit, if you look at it right now, this is pretty much balanced. Mm -hmm. If I zoom out just a tiny bit, it throws the whole thing off. Yep. Yep, so just make sure that you're all squared away and ready to go. Now, when you balance it manually, you try and get it as good as you can. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, the gimbal itself will do the rest. So you just turn it on and you'll watch this sort of snap to attention. Ta-da! No, it defaults to what's called a panning lock mode, and as you rotate, it'll always face forward. Even if you do like a quick jerk, it'll slowly go and make sure it yep. goes yeah, to so that spot. Even if you do that, you don't get any sort of crazy jerky motion. It'll always be nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. And while it's in that mode, you can go up, you can go down, you can go side to side, and it'll always be super smooth. Mm -hmm. You can go forward and back and oh, get extreme whoa. close up. Whoa. Party on, Garth. Party on, Wayne. So, um, all right, so you get the idea how it works. It keeps your camera really steady. Mm -hmm. The only thing it doesn't really compensate for is sort of up and down movements. So if yeah. you're walking with this, um, best to have a image stabilized lens. Or body. Or both. Or yeah. both. So then you're really, you're really golden. So, all right, um, other things about this. It's really easy to use. Mm -hmm. It doesn't require a lot of practice. It's extremely quiet. So if you're using this in any kind of situation where you want to be inconspicuous, um, you can't hear any of the motors. Yeah, that's like virtually silent. I'll put it right up to the microphone. Yeah, I hear nothing. And mm -hmm. uh, that's a really great thing because um, a lot of the time you won't be able to use a microphone. You might have to use the uh, internal mic on the camera and it's not going to pick up any, any mo uh, sound at all from the motion of the motors. So I am showing the, uh, the thumbstick right now. Yes, of course. <laughs> How could I forget? There's a little joystick on the back of it so that you can uh, control with your thumb. And that will allow you to rotate the camera. You can tilt it up. You can tilt it down. And what mode are we in right now? We're just in manual, right? I think that's regular um, like panning lock mode. Not sure. This isn't panning lock. I don't think it's panning lock. Oh, okay. Lock. So you're sort of in like a freestyle. Freestyle, freestyle mode. That's <laughs> the name of it. All right. And um, yeah, that allows you to move the camera around. And of course, you won't hear any noise with that as well. Wee. <laughs> and uh, so this takes two lithium ion batteries. They are sort of a proprietary size. They come from the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And they last a real good while. They last about 12 hours, according to the specifications, of continued use. So that's a lot. If you're going out on a job, if you're shooting an entire wedding, or you know, you're going out to shoot a music video, you're not going to have to change batteries. Couldn't hurt to buy some extras, but you're really not going to need them. These will last a really long yeah. time. And we've, we've tested it. We haven't replaced these batteries since we took this out of the box last week. And this isn't our first take doing this. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Don't reveal our secrets <laughs> to the public. All right, so um, I actually did take this out for a while. 
uh, uh, over the weekend. I brought in my backyard, and I got some pretty cool footage. And I'm not a real good videographer. I certainly don't use a steady cam on a regular basis, and I didn't really practice with this. Um, but that being said, I put it on an A6000 with a regular kit lens, and I got some pretty good footage. So, yep. so we don't usually do segues in this show. We just usually do one long take of it. So. Mm -hmm. We're going to change that up a little bit today just to show you some video. Yeah, so we're going to put some <laughs> edited material into this unedited video right now. All right, so we're back, and as you can see, I got some pretty good footage. Um, I'm not a steady cam operator. I didn't get a lot of practice with this, and I'm certainly not an expert. Would you stop? <laughs> <laughs> as you can see, I got some really good footage of uh, my kids in the backyard and the chickens and all that. So, um, you know, I really didn't have to get too much practice to do that, and it all came out really nice. Yeah. Now, if I do say so <laughs> myself. Yes. I did notice that, like when you were when you were shooting. You could look like you were kind of going like really low with this, like yep. getting really down low. But there were some really, really low angles. Did you do anything different with it? I did. I turned this handle about 180 degrees. So if you have it come this way, like a, a C. Okay. So I'm going this way, away from the gimbal. Yeah. You don't want to knock into that side of the gimbal. Okay. So just Sorry. turn it around, flip it up to the top, and whoopsie. Hang on. Oop, hang on. Did hang the wrong on. way. That way. Ah. There okay. you go. All right. So now you can just hold this at your side. You can hold it in front of you and you can get really nice low angle shots. And uh, you can attach it to a boom pole or a monopod if you mm -hmm. want to, so you don't have to crouch down at all because there is a little tripod mount oh. on the bottom of the handle. So that gives you more flexibility so you can get really low angle shots or you can bring it all the way up and get some really high angle shots. Ooh, sweeps. <laughs> and um, like a seesaw. Yeah, so it ends up being a really versatile tool for whatever application you're using it in, whether it's shooting weddings or uh, music videos or sports videos. There's a million different applications. It would be great for skateboarding. It would be perfect for skateboarding. As long as you're fast enough to keep up with somebody, <laughs> um, then you're in good shape. Nice. As long as you don't drop it. Please don't drop it. It's a delicate <laughs> piece of equipment. Um, right. Let's see. There's uh, one other feature I wanted to mention. It does have Bluetooth connectivity right out of the box. So that allows you to use your smartphone. I happen to have a smartphone right here to connect to the crane and actually mm -hmm. control the position of your camera. So you just have to use your smartphone to pair to it via Bluetooth. It'll only take a second to find it. There it is. And once it's paired, it'll tell you how much battery is left. We've got about half of it left. And then you can hit control and you get a little video game style controller here. And that allows you to move the camera. Mm. You can change modes. So if I change it to a freestyle mode now, I can actually rotate the camera. Ooh, Dutch angles. Yeah. And then uh, when you're ready to go back to default, you just hit this little centering button, and it's back to normal. So the app is pretty cool, even though it doesn't have a, too many uses. Um, you can calibrate the crane. You can control it, obviously. So there's a few things that um, you know make the, the app worth downloading for sure. And it's free, so you know why not? Uh, but if you don't have a smartphone, you can also control it remotely with a remote, there you as go. the name implies. <laughs> um, and then this is another thing that connects via Bluetooth. Once you have it paired, then all you have to do is turn it on, and it should pair right away, which it does. And as you can see, very easy to use. 
Awesome. And that, again, it allows you to do panning moves, rotating moves, tilting up and down. Um, so that, you know, if you want to be holding the thing or if you've got it set up on a tripod, you can control it remotely or you can have an assistant do it. It's um, really quite easy to use. All right, so I think we have some accessories that you can get with this thing as well. Yes, we do. As, apart from the remote, which is an accessory you can buy on mm -hmm. Kometa.com, uh, mm -hmm. you can also get this nice big double handle. Now, this is great for when you, uh, if you have a long day of shooting ahead of you, and this is going to get a little bit tiring to hold with one hand, or maybe you just want to attach some accessories that you can't attach to the crane itself, mm -hmm. this is a great option. So all you do is sort of slide the handle into the clamp here. And you want to do clamp it down on the rigid edges, right? Yeah, there's like a little part. It's um, knurled, I believe. Is what knurled. It's knurled. Okay. K and knurled. All right, so that's locked in nice. Yep. And then you have a more stable platform to work with. Uh, there's nice rubber grips on each side. And also on each side, there are accessory ports, little tripod uh, sockets. So you can add something like an articulating arm. We have these from vgear at commander.com. And you just screw those into the side. Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> there we go. All right. And then you can attach any kind of accessory that would have a tripod mount on it. For example, this video light. That will always come in handy. Now this you couldn't attach to the top of your camera because it would make it too top heavy. But if you have this accessory, this double handle accessory and, and an articulating arm, it's very easy to attach. And that will allow you to get some lighting, which is uh, definitely needed when you're shooting video. Mm. And you can put a microphone on the other side. If you were recording audio separately on a separate device, you could put a microphone over there, or you could put two lights. You could put any sort of uh, accessory. Double the lights. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, then you've got your own little movie studio all contained in one device. And you can get some really awesome footage that you definitely could not get if you were just holding the camera in your hands. Because yes. as much as we try, we are definitely not <laughs> that steady. All right, so I think we pretty much covered everything except the price, I believe. The price is $649. Okay. So for uh, electronic motorized gimbal, which is competing with uh, you know, steady cams and other things mm -hmm. of that nature, it's actually a really good price. And if you are an independent filmmaker, if you're shooting weddings, if you're doing any of those things that we talked about before, this is something that is really worth the money um, because you are going to get some amazing shots that you definitely could not get otherwise. And again, it's compatible with pretty much any mirrorless camera, whether you're using something high end like a GH5 mm -hmm. or if you're using a little, you know, point and shoot with a, with a zoom on it. You can't use really light cameras. So if you've got like a super compact camera, point and shoot, like a really small point and shoot, it's not going to work. It's, it just doesn't have enough weight for the motors to actually recognize that it's yeah. there. But um, with pretty much any mirrorless camera, as long as it doesn't have a huge lens, um, if you use a compact DSLR, that's fine. Yep. You know, just keep the weight under a certain limit and you're good to go. Right. So 650 is not that much for something that has this much flexibility and gives you such good quality footage. And where can you pick this up? Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's more, there's more. Oh no! It comes with a case. <laughs> it comes with a big old plastic case to keep your crane protected. And uh, in times of need, <laughs> you may need to whack somebody over the head with it. It's uh, quite sturdy. And also, I, I think there is something else in there that it comes with that is kind of vital. Mm, yeah, it comes with a battery charger. <laughs> and actually, I don't know if we mentioned this before because we definitely didn't edit this video at all. <laughs> um, it does come with two lithium ion batteries which last up to 12 hours according yes. to the specifications. So these are something that is definitely necessary. And uh, you'll also need one of these to charge them up. Absolutely. Anyway, the whole Megillah comes in at 649 and it's available right now at Cometa.com.